Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely, and today we're gonna be tackling my weekly cleaning list. Each day of the week, I have a different thing that I do so that I can stay on top of all of my cleaning tasks and not get overwhelmed. If this is your first time watching me, I want you guys to know this is a really relatable look at what I do each week to clean. You're gonna see me with no makeup on cleaning. You're gonna see the tasks that I do each day so I can keep my life at least a little bit together. And you're going to hear some good tips and tricks from me about things that I do that just help me out a lot. If you're a mom and you're anything like me, which if you're here, you probably are, then you have a lot to do all the time. So who has time to do all of their cleaning once a week? Not me. It couldn't be me, okay? There's no way I could do that. I have to space it all out and I have to make it doable because in my brain, if I have too many tasks, I will do absolutely nothing. Once the mountain gets too high of laundry, of dishes, of whatever, I just cannot tackle it. It's such a struggle for me. So that's that's why I have finally figured out a really good list to use and a really good system to keep on top of everything so that I can keep my house clean, keep my head clear because I have to have a clean house to feel like I've got it together and also not to be overwhelmed all the time. If you know me and you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that about six weeks ago, I left my full-time outside the house job. I still work, I work from home, I do social media stuff, I make YouTube videos, and I do a lot with that. There's a lot of things that go into that, and so it is like a full-time job. My kids are also young, my husband's hardly ever here because he works out of state, and I am busy and I'm not the most organized person on the planet. Like I tried, because once I left work and I no longer had a nanny who helped me with a lot of these tasks, then we as a family had to figure something else out. So this is what I've landed on and I've been doing this for a couple weeks now. Let's go through each day of the week. I'll show you guys what I do. I'll share some hacks with you guys and I will tell you about the coordinating things my kids do each day to help me out. So we're jumping right into a new week with Monday. On Mondays, my tasks are to clean my bathroom and take out the trash. Our trash comes on Tuesday morning, so I try to make sure I get it all out the night before so I don't look like a crazy woman running in my robe down the driveway with a bag of trash. The kids also help me out on Monday. My four-year-old goes around all the bathrooms and takes the trash out, and my nine-year-old helps to clean the trash out of the car from the weekend. My name's Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really Rainbow. I'm the type of mom who runs on coffee, looks like a hot mess in the mornings, and doesn't go to bed early enough. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, someone who's slightly domestic and really relatable. I have two daughters who are four and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. Sometimes my house looks like I'm losing a game of Jumanji and I'm only a Pinterest mom if it can be done in like less than 15 minutes. So if you can relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, travel, and behind the scenes of our life. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, what's your least favorite chore? Mine has gotta be laundry. I don't mind doing it, but I hate putting it away. If you check out the description box, you'll find links to download both my weekly cleaning list and the weekly cleaning list for my daughters. Feel free to use what you want from them, make them work for you, or do whatever you want with them. But they're there for you for free to download. So Tuesdays are our busiest day of the week. After school, we have activities all evening. My kids play soccer and do competitive dance. So Tuesdays are our long night of practices. Because of this, I made sure Tuesday was easy for us. And so I just sweep, mop, and do my laundry on Tuesdays. If you never, if you ever feel like you don't have somebody there for you, don't worry. Laundry is always there for you, girl. The girls don't actually have a lot to do on this day either. All I ask is that they feed the animals, which is their chore every morning, and bring the trash can back up from the road. As you can see, it's definitely hectic in here while I'm trying to complete my tasks, but that's motherhood, I guess.
cleaning my room. I don't pay a lot of attention to my room, honestly, and I'm bad about just setting things down in it. So on Wednesdays, I clean up my room. That makes me feel like I'm like in high school again, but that's the day I clean my room. I pick up all the stuff that I've set all over, does things, and organize a little bit. I try to make my bed every day, but it doesn't always happen, that's for sure. I also do Callie's laundry on Wednesdays and on Wednesday nights, she helps me put it away. My nine-year-old helps on Wednesdays by sweeping the downstairs. I have hardwood floors, so we track in a ton of stuff, and I pretty much need to sweep like every day. I mentioned my kids having chores, I inevitably get a few questions about it, so the way our family looks at chores might be different than yours, and that's totally okay. In our family, everyone has responsibilities. You don't get paid for them because you live here, and that means you need to help run the house smoothly. There are opportunities to make money though, and we have a jar in my office of tasks that they can pick from if they want to make some money. They're always there and always available. I always welcome the help. I started out with my kids doing chores around two or three. Obviously, they're age-appropriate things to help out and, and help me, but we kept it pretty consistent, and around four, they get actual tasks that they're responsible for. We help each other, though, so if we don't get to it, we all try to pitch in to get it done, and we try to remember that nothing on our chore list is life or death, and if we don't get to a task, we will survive, and that's okay. Kids have bad days and days they don't want to do anything just like we do. So I want them to know that it's okay. We can all work together to get it done if you're having an off day, but I'm big on sticking to your word and natural consequences so they know that it is their responsibility and if they don't do it consistently, it'll pile up. It's definitely a balance for sure, but I can tell it's worked out really well because Cadence is nine now and she's actually really good about her chores and keeping things really tidy. I'm very lucky. On Thursdays, there's more sweeping. <laughs> like I said, all I do is sweep. I also vacuum on Thursdays, and if y'all have been around a while, you probably know how much I absolutely hate this vacuum, but um, I'm gonna get a new one soon. Maybe for Christmas, you know, the fact that a new vacuum for Christmas would make me happy definitely means I'm getting old, but whatever. Our trash comes on Fridays too, so the girls help me with taking out trash on Thursday evenings as well. I'm forgetful and I get distracted really easy, so we also set a reminder on our Alexa to tell us about the trash the night before. The girls have some everyday chores to do too. They're responsible for taking all their stuff to their rooms at night and keeping their room tidy. I don't help them with this. Since it's their room, they can keep it their version of tidy. As long as they're pleased with it, it's fine with me. I just try to get them into the habit of picking up a little every day so it doesn't get too overwhelming. This has worked out well for us so far and they both take pride in their rooms most of the time. I mean, there are definitely days where I'm like, just shut the door, I'm not dealing with it. But you know, that's also motherhood. They're also responsible for feeding our animals. We have one dog, one cat, and three hermit crabs. Lord help me, they're still alive, y'all. Cadence also does the dishes. She loads the dishwasher every night, unloads them in the morning, and then any dishes we make throughout the day while she's at school, we put in the dishwasher. And then after dinner, she loads them with the dinner dishes. It's a good system as long as we stick to it. On Fridays, I do my laundry again. <laughs> like I said before, if I have too much, I will literally not do it. So I prefer to do two small loads to large loads for sure. I also wipe the cabinets, counters, appliances, and other surfaces in the kitchen really well. I probably wipe the counters like every single day while I'm cooking or something, but I like to have one good cleaning of them once a week. On Friday, the girls clean out the trash in the car from the week and, you guessed it, help with sweeping. If you're a busy mom, like me, and often feel overwhelmed with household tasks, also like me, I wanna remind you of a few things, okay, girl? First, you're doing great. The fact that you care that you're a good mom means you are a good mom, and you don't need to worry. Second, it's not all on you. If you have kids or a partner, they should be helping you. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom and you don't work, you're not a maid. You may be the engineer of the plan to get it all done, but you do not have to do it all. And third, care tasks are never finished. There will always be laundry. There will always be dishes. The floor will always need to be swept. It never ends, and that's okay. You'll never be done with those things, and you'll never finish those things because they just keep coming. That's how it works with a task like that. That's why it helps to tackle a little each day so it doesn't get too overwhelming. Trust me, if no one's told you today, you're doing great.
hope you let me know if you like this video or if it's helpful for you. I've never done one like this and I really don't do a whole lot of like just cleaning content, but I'm really passionate about creating systems in my house that work for us and help take the load off of me completely. And I like helping other moms do that also. I think it's crazy to expect one person to carry the emotional and physical labor load of an entire house, and I'm really big on making sure that kids know how to do tasks as an adult. I try to remind myself often that I'm not raising kids, I'm raising adults, and I really do not want my kids to be the ones that go to college and don't know how to work a washing machine. Because when I went to college, trust me, I saw it happen. Saturdays are super busy days. We have soccer games and usually go out to do some sort of activity. I try to start the morning out by knocking our chores out. On this particular Saturday, it didn't really happen, but typically Saturdays are the days I clean the car and clean up outside in, in the garage. Cadence Deep cleans the microwave this day and cleans her bathroom, and then Callie is in charge of dusting and picking up any toys in the yard. Happy Sunday, it's Sunday today, and I'm getting ready to start my chores. I never... <laughs> look nice when I'm doing my chores, so y'all have to excuse that because what's the point if I'm about to clean something? I do this like um, before I ever get ready for the day, but we're about to start our Sunday chores. We're having a really chill Sunday this week, so let's get started on Sunday chores. I don't mind Sunday chores, so let's do them. Sundays are kind of a heavy chores day. We do the bulk of our more time consuming stuff on Sunday. This is the day I clean out the fridge and the pantry and plan the meals for the following week. I usually place a grocery order on Sundays to pick up on Monday since it's less busy on Monday. And I like to search for my recipes on TikTok and Pinterest because I want them to be easy. I also have a comprehensive list of every dinner that I've ever known how to cook and that my family actually likes. I'm not the best cook and I've been learning how to cook new dinners and plan them out now that I'm home at night because I never really was home at night until now. It saves us a lot of time and money and it definitely saves me a lot of stress about what to make for dinner when I do this. I think the whole process usually takes me about an hour and it's definitely worth it to not have to stress every single night about dinner. As for the girls, Sunday is when Cadence does her laundry and Callie cleans her downstairs bathroom. Of course, having a five-year-old clean the bathroom means that the bathroom isn't always clean to my standards, but it's a learning experience for her too. You'd be surprised how quickly they get good at something once they learn and try it a few times. It's kind of cool to watch them improve. You saw everything that I do each day to stay on top of everything and you even heard a little bit about my kids and my chores so make sure to grab those two lists that I mentioned down in the description box and if you're looking for more motivation from me then check out this video here and I will see you guys next time. Bye!